Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with a flip through. So I put this together this morning. We've been working on it for what seems like forever and I am going to show you how it turned out. So this is our sweet baby girl, the little boho floral traveler's notebook that I put together um, for a specific customer, and that's that's a whole story we're not going to get into. But this is for sale in the shop, and it turned out so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you what all it has. So of course the first piece is the floral swag that's on the front. You can see it has one, two, three, four flowers with three rose gold leaves, and it's probably my favorite of all of our floral swags. It also has the leather bookmark. This little guy has uh, rose gold leaf, some charms here, and then the really cute little fox. I love this little fox. It goes so well with all the things inside. You've got the rose gold glitter spine here, which just turned out so pretty. I think I want to just make all of our traveler's notebooks with the rose gold spine from now on. And then at the top, of course, we have the matching rose gold floral piece that matches the swag and the little, little pink one, little pink felty, and a large rose gold tool bow. So let's go ahead and open this up and show you all the pieces. Dun, 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 dun. So here's the first pages. I guess we'll set it down. Honestly, I like to stick that little tiny house under there because it kind of makes it prop up nicely when you're taking pictures as opposed to writing it. So this particular cover has uh, fold over pockets in the front and then it has two card pockets. So that you can put whatever you like in there this one should have the same setup so this is this is a pocket sized without the scallops but you can see here so we have the crisscross pocket and it has one card pocket here and the other one is hidden right in here I love that hidden pocket because you can tuck credit cards in here and they don't show when you open up your planner so nobody sees them but you um, of course, with something like this, that's more of a scrapbook than like a daily carry kind of piece. I just tuck pretty things in there. But if you were using this for an everyday carry, that's where I would put my cards. So on this first page, we have all the cute little boho pieces. And there's just so much rose gold. I love it. So we've got the cute little dream catcher. And of course, let's see if you can see that. That's It's a 3D sticker. This little one and this little one are both 3D stickers, and so are the feathers. We've got our cute little clouds and our cute little, we've got two doilies back here. We've got some die kits from the kit, and they have that holographic foil on them. We've got the cute little fox. We've got one crazy bunch, and my mom is cooler than yours. And they're all held in with that little paper clip. And then, of course, we've got the small little rose gold tool bow that matches the large one. So then we come to the first of five inserts, and each insert has a cardstock dashboard, a vellum, the cover for the insert, and then the actual insert. That's how all of them are set up. So this first one is a glitter cardstock, and it is just so pretty. Of course, it's the kind of glitter that is, you know, it's all sealed in there, so nothing is going to be coming off and getting glitter everywhere. We've got the little rose gold dipped feather, and another feather from the die cut kit. 
we've got this cute little chipboard piece that was blank and I went ahead and painted it pink and it goes with that reflective little piece there. The other side has the little rose gold heart paper clip. Let me go ahead and bring this up real quick so you can see it close in before we go on to the next page. Alright, so we've got the rose gold paper clip. There's the rest of that rose gold doily. We've got some cute little pink gems. And this says, I love you more than. So you can write something on there. We've got our first piece of vellum which is my favorite one because it is that cute fox. Look how cute that fox is. And I love, of course, the fox does not, like they weren't supposed to go together, but I just love how much this little fox matches this little fox. It's the same fox that we have up here. So that's the nice part about the kits is that everything coordinates. Um, when I design them, I try to use the same design elements over and over and over. So we've got that little fox vellum. And our first insert is the biggest. It's the journal prompts insert. So, oh, there's our fox skin. I thought I'd put him on the first page. I love the fox. So here's a little journaling space for a story from your pregnancy. We've got how we announce the pregnancy. Mama's favorite foods while pregnant. We've got your birth story for your sweetheart, how we picked your name with that cute raccoon. My mom says that this raccoon looks like a cat. I don't see it. He's got a mask on, but I guess if you're like my mom, you can think, pretend it's a cat. It's still boho -y with the little everything there. <clears throat> then we've got the cute little paper clip. I love that paper clip. It's got a little rose gold heart in the middle. My first new year. What's my favorite part of parenting a sweet baby girl? We've got what kind of temperament does baby have? What's baby's favorite way to be soothed? I love that one. What was sleep like in the early days? That one's always funny. We've got a couple of blank memory sheets that you can write down whatever you like. My favorite toys. My favorite lullabies, we've got those rose gold staples holding everything together in the middle. I don't know why I thought those were necessary, but they just add a little extra detail that I think is so cute. My favorite songs, favorite foods, first vacation, first haircut, first Thanksgiving, first Christmas, first Easter, Remember when, remember when, we've got a couple of these and that is the end of the journal prompts book. So we've got the back cover, the fox, and the back glitter page. So I'm going to go ahead and put this little paper clip back in. Now that we've gone through the whole insert. So then we come to our second insert. And this one has these really pretty rose gold pineapples. You can see those. And it has this little piece on here. It says, life was made for good friends and great adventure. And it's got another one of those holographic die cuts that go with the kit. And then, oh my god. I don't know why I keep putting it down because I just want to show you everything. We've got the cute little raccoon. Not a cat. And, of course, the love paper clip. We've got our floral vellum here. It has florals at the top and the bottom, so it kind of frames that page for your insert. We've got the really pretty, I just want to keep this one, rose gold floral clip. I just love that. So, all of the monthly inserts are laid out the same with the exception of the newborn pages. So you've got newborn, and then you've got a lot of journaling prompts here for those newborn months that are a little different from, I don't think we need that house anymore, from the rest of the years. So you've got three or four pages of different birth newborn questions, journal prompts, and then we get into the whole setup. So for one month old, you're going to have these same questions for every month. 
I love, say I love sleeping. I don't like being woken up. <laughs> I can't open my eyes. My favorite person is my mama. My height is, my weight is, I have how many teeth, my favorite food is, my favorite toy is, my favorite book is. And then for each month we have mama's favorite memory from month one and daddy's favorite memory from month one. So that's going to repeat for every month and there'll be a different little graphic or animal or something. So you have four months and a booklet and then you have the milestone pages. So for your first smile, we've got a little journaling card there held in with one of those really cute little paper clips, the rose gold ones. It's got a little arrow and some little beads. And we've got first laugh, first time rolling over, first time sitting up. And then we have three, nope, two, I thought I had three blank milestone pages so that if you have something else that comes up during those first four months, you can record it. This is probably the snarkiest thing in here and I love it. I still live with my parents. I roll. It's got that cute little teepee. Matches our little boho theme. So then it says just saying hello and it says hey girl. With another one of those holographic foiled die cuts. And this one is a chipboard sticker and it's also painted pink like the one on the front and it says hope. There's another little bit of those gems. We've got our cute raccoon melon with months five through eight. I don't really need to do a flip through because you already saw how they're laid out but it does have same characters but they're all in different orders for the different month inserts. And then we've got the other end of that leather bookmark with the little fox. And of course you can put that wherever you like. We've got another journaling card. This little paper clip has rose gold leaf and heart and some pretty pink beads. So then we come to the back of that booklet and we've got this little page with the rose gold foil. And it says, grateful for your friendship, tiny toes. I love that tiny toes one. And we've got a couple 3D stickers and gems and holographic die cuts. Just all the fun bits. There's the back of that raccoon. See, it's a raccoon. See the tail? See it? All right, then we've got the cute little teepee. I love this teepee. Holographic foiled die cut. And, of course, our big chipboard piece that says, My heart is yours. And another little 3D sticker. And I found these little clouds, and how cute are these for a little girl? They're so cute. We've got the little floral vellum. Months 9 through 12, so it takes you all the way through the first year with all your milestones. There we go. So first solid food, first word. First time pulling myself to a standing position. First time standing unsupported. And then baby's first steps, milestone, journaling card. I love this crystal. I really thought about keeping this, but I have so many paper clips I don't need more. Got a little tassel. It's just so cute. I'm sorry, I know I say that a lot, but I just, I really think it's cute. And then the last book is a notes insert. And it's wrapped in that pretty rose gold foiled cardstock. And it says, Home is where your mom is. We've got that cute little holographic foil die cut. And then I love this so much. I, I mean, you could use this vellum for anything, but it works really well in here. It's just that little teepee with all the flowers and the feathers. And then we go right into the notes insert with that big beautiful rose gold tool bow and it's just all blank pages so you could use this as a journal you can use it as a notes book for lists whatever you like and then the last page it says just another day of being awesome love ya so that is everything now as you can see we've got two we've got four bands in this book and two of them two of the books 
here are jump banded in. So you have room for a sixth book here. And you also could theoretically jump band in another book with the middle insert here. So technically there are five books here, but as you can see, this is a wide cover. And when you close it up, the spine wraps pretty well around five books. You could fit six in comfortably. You could probably stuff all the way up to eight without having too much of the overhang go away. It would be pretty flush at eight books, but there is room. So just depends on what you're looking for. But this one is all set up and ready to go home. Whoever buys it, I wish it was me, but I don't have a little girl to use it for right now. So someone else will just have to take it off my hands and then they will have to send me pictures. So I'm just trying to fix these little danglies the little paper clips like to get caught in the pages. There we go. So there we are, the entire flip through of the sweet little baby girl boho floral traveler's notebook. I love it. I hope you guys love it. Leave me a comment below and I will leave a link in the description to where you can find this in my shop. And just remember that if you're not looking to buy the entire notebook, but you like any of the pieces, they're all for sale separately. You can buy just the floral swag or just the paper clips or just the side paper clips or just the inserts or just the vellum, yada, yada, yada. But if you're not looking to put it together yourself, it is all put together and ready to go. So I hope you loved it. Bye y'all.